Welcome to Podwall Cast 2. You will see many strange things on this adventure, but never fear. We have no casualties. Yet. Keep your arms and legs inside the video at all times. And remember, leave nothing but eye prints, and take nothing but Motrin. I am going to test my personal revolutionary guitar teaching curriculum on you. So without further ado, I present three spheres of influence in a six string environment. Hello and welcome. Please put this on. Let's get started. I think a good place to start would be in a dictionary. G. Guitar. A stringed musical instrument shaped somewhat like a violin, but played by plucking or strumming the strings with the fingers or a plectrum. It usually has three strings of gut and three of silk, covered with fine silver wire. While we're in G, I'd like to point out that grossification is a word, a very handy word that belongs in the vocabulary of every budding guitarist. Let's take a moment to familiarize ourselves with the six string environment. We have body, strings, sound hole, neck, head, tuning pegs. Now you have a fundamental understanding of what constitutes a guitar and are well on your way to becoming one. One good guitarist, guitarist, that is. We influence the six string environment with three spheres the left hand, the right hand, and the musical lobe in the brain, which exerts an indirect influence by influencing the two lesser spheres. Let me demonstrate. Can you see how these spheres work together so harmoniously. Beautiful. Beautiful. With that newfound knowledge securely under your belt, all you need now is practice, practice, and a practice planner. Notice, this is a baseball practice planner, but I'm sure we can glean some truths from its teachings nonetheless. Lastly, all good gardening rules apply. Have fun. Hey. Hi. I'm hungry. Want to get something to eat? Okay. I think I'm going to get a chocolate milkshake. How about you? I could probably go for a cheesecake. Where are you? Over here.
there we were one fateful day, cleaning Site 75. And we walk out to do a normal job, and lo and behold, we find two canes. So that set our minds to thinking, as they do on occasion. And they worked, and the gears turned. What can we do with these canes? asks we. I don't know, says the other us. And it was probably somewhere around that time that the idea struck one of us across the noggin. Could do one of those dances. So we did one of them dances. And one of them dances it was. I tell you, these canes are not to be reckoned with. Stuff in our gift shop. <laughs>